In this video, we're going over the left hand technique for the cello. The first step to a great technique on the cello is making sure that the cello is in the right spot. So we have to make sure that the this this uh, this tuning peg here, the front one closest to us, is kind of hitting us right behind the ear, right in this area, right right behind. See, I'm pushing my glasses up right in that area. That's where we want it landing. We do not want it up here in front of our face. We definitely don't want it down here at our at our chest, basically, or laying on our shoulder. And we need to have our hand up at it then once we have it in this position. Sorry, give me a sec. All right. The cello is slightly tilted in towards me. All right, so a little bit tilted in towards me. My legs are on either side. The, uh, I can move the camera down here. These are the C bouts, these things here. They're, uh, I'm basically right underneath these. So right in the curve underneath, right there is where my, my legs are sitting basically. Now, once I have this good posture, I can focus on getting a good left hand. So if you don't have a good posture, the left hand's not gonna be right. Now, the cello left hand comes up to the cello and we can see right now I have a nice flat straight line with my arm and my wrist. There's nothing bent. Okay, there's no bending in my wrist. There's nothing, I have a smooth straight line. If I took the cello away, my hand looks like this, which is how your hand would normally look. All right, so that's really important. I see that this is a big problem for cellists. They're just laying it on stuff. They have it down like this. That's really, con you have to pick it up. At first, it's a little tiring. It goes away after a week or two if you do it right all the time. The hand itself is like a claw. The only things touching the cello are the thumb and the fingers. This part, no part of your hand otherwise is touching the cello. Absolutely not. The thumb does not stick out. You should not see it on this side. You're kind of like on the pad on the back here. Okay, the thumb is kind of curved. Okay, if anything, it's it's a it's a maybe flat, but it's never crunched like this. It's, you should never have your thumb I'm trying to see where it's easiest to see. You should never have your thumb smashed like that. The fingers themselves are rounded. See, I'm not crunched. I see this a lot on the cello. You do not want your knuckles to be collapsed. Basically, if you took the cello away, your hands should look normal. Notice you can't collapse your knuckles in midair, which means they're not meant to do that. So don't crunch them on the cello. They should be rounded, curved on the tips. The pinky's kind of on the pad, okay? But these three fingers can definitely be on the tips. The first finger's kind of on the side. I'd actually say it's kind of on the side of the finger. So like when I have it, it's, it's stretched like that with it kind of on the side. The thumb is underneath second finger. That's really important. The thumb is located underneath second finger on the cello. Then all the fingers are spread. And the fingers are coming down firmly on the strings. I'm actually technically I could play without the thumb. I don't really need it. It's just there to help kind of balance the hand. I'm actually just using the weight of my arm to press the strings down. That's really important. We're not squeezing the cello. It's a neck because we don't strangle it. So make sure that that elbow's nice and up, fingers nice and curved. You're making a nice claw on all of these strings and you're spreading those fingers out.